I'm going to say that was a missed opportunity for Seabass. He might have wanted just to hold back in that section just to score. As we look to the score line, we have Jeremy Flores out in the lead. And this guy got to do some work. Oof. And that's doing some work right there. Stu Kennedy with a vicious backhand hook. Gets the white water here next to the pier, looking for that shallow section of sand that'll accumulate there by the pier and help Stu bring this wave all the way in, which he is going to making the connection. Going to making the connection. Kennedy winding up. Finishing nicely. Can he ride out? And the answer is yes, Pete. So Okay, point of difference for me on that one. He did get the single maneuver outside, got the single maneuver inside, did flow it nicely through that fatter section where he didn't have the opportunity to really do any moves. But he did get a very distinct bottom turn into that hooking snap. Again, held the rail through the snap. So it's not just that kind of forced maneuver on the closeout. He actually did get a rail transition from bottom turn to top turn with the arc. So then there's going to be a point of difference. It was a very, you know, again, exciting one maneuver on the outside. And then on the inside, again, getting the tail above the lip, a little pop out of the turn. Judges are going to like that. Here we go, utilizing his priority. J Flo, Jeremy Flores. That's a big backhand turn. Can't hang on to it, however, and goes down. So tricky conditions, or just surfers really maybe surfing a little bit with a little bit more flair than, than may be necessary. We're still in the first half of the heat, so you we still what? got a lot, of, a lot of time. At this point, though, I mean, these guys, again, this is one of those QS 10,000 events where, you know what, you've got to stamp yourself out there that you're going to go big, right? And this is what they're doing. They're trying to go big. They're trying to give you a little bit more, the judges, a little bit more. So you're pushing your turns a little harder, and again, mistakes start to happen when you do that. I don't mind it. You know what? You're going to get a lot of reps out here. It's not like you're at J-Bay where you blow it at the you know mid part of the wave and it all of a sudden just ruins the wave. It's okay. You can get back out there. So what? Get out there, beach break, show us some flair. This is what the U.S. Open's about. Well, we got 17 minutes and 10 seconds counting down. We're looking to the score line. Stu Kennedy, that last wave that he put together, 6.23, Peter, and that puts Stu Kennedy in the blue jersey in the lead, followed by Jeremy Flores.